What's happening everyone? Today we're gonna to be checking out One OK Rock, specifically their lead singer, Taka, who I've recently discovered, and he is unbelievable, to say the least. I look forward to this. This will be my first time seeing his communication skills off stage. Let's get started right now. It's just so him, right? His voice is so unique. He's like not trying to copy or emulate Adele in any way, but he's bringing his own flair and unique style to this. And he's so powerful. I fucking love Taka. Every time I hear him, man, it just strikes a chord with me. When I call you, never seem to be home. He puts his entire soul into his music. You guys feeling this or what? It feels like he's connecting with every single lyric. I'm not sure if he understands every single lyric. I don't know his level of English. He pronounces the words really, really clearly. So it makes me think that he actually is quite proficient in speaking English. But we'll learn that in the interview that's coming up. I just fucking love this guy. He just puts everything into it. And you can't help but admire that. He's incredible, man. Okay, so I look forward to getting into an interview right now with him, and then I'm gonna be checking out one more song after that interview, so stay tuned for that. Here we go. They released this new album. Yeah. No, so, um, yeah, that's, this is great things for me. Now, I love that you worked with Pooh Bear. Yes. Um, especially, you worked with Pooh Bear on my favorite track, Head High, mm -hmm. Head High, and, you know, tell me about working with Pooh Bear. How was that? Was like, you know. I like how Taka's just kind of posted up. He's got his leg up, he's chilling. He's not uptight in any way. And when you see people sort of sitting like that, it sort of gives you the idea that they're feeling comfortable in that social situation. So like a lot of like, you know, huge artists yeah. did it produce. So um, I was kind of nervous, but um, you know, you know, my words and then, you know, put on the tracks and that's it. Wow, that's different. Yeah, it's very different, but um, it was super good experience for me. Yeah. Taka is this obviously big, big artist in Japan, and it seems like quite big internationally as well. But if you look at these two guys, you wouldn't know that Taka's famous if you didn't know Taka. But um, it was super good experience for me. Yeah. So like, I think. Taka is quite a humble guy and we even sort of got a glimpse of that when he talked about him being nervous being around Pooh Bear. I was kind of nervous but um... So already we're seeing Taka's openness in this conversational setting as well. But he's definitely 100% genius producer though. Yeah. yeah. Now on this track specifically you also had Ethan uh, Thompson mm -hmm. uh, co-writing, right? Yeah. What's it like writing with him? Because I've heard- Yeah, and he's an intense guy too. Just when this guy was asking him a question, Taka was like focused in and locked in pretty intensely. This track specifically, you also had Ethan uh, Thompson. Mm -hmm. uh, co he's an intense guy. He's a passionate guy, isn't he? Yeah, I love the songs too. And um, maybe we need a more like practice about the songs. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, because I, I can't like explain in English right now. No, I get that. I get <laughs> that was a good answer. He's actually quite articulate in English. He's doing a really good job here. And notice how like he's very expressive. Like in that answer, he's actually gesturing quite a bit. He's expressive when he speaks. That adds to his level of engagement. And I always say like gesturing can show your confidence and your passion in your message. Gesturing can really help you emphasize or assist you in articulating your point you know my parents is a boss as a singer you know that right yeah yeah um my mother is like pretty high tone voice mm. she had and my father is like very 
uh, like more um, baritone greed. Like, okay. uh, yeah, he's super chill. Like, he doesn't seem like he's putting on a facade here at all. His whole demeanor, the way he's speaking to this guy, it feels like he's talking to a friend. So he just feels very relatable in this moment, too. Big deal, man. Yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> no, you're kind of a big deal. Yeah. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. You're big time. <laughs> big time, really, really. Because I'm, yeah, because, you know, like... Nice, man. Taka just embracing that. Yeah, I am a big deal. Yeah, no, me. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about me. Yeah, me? Yeah, you. Yeah. This guy thought he was, like, misunderstanding him. He's like, no, I heard you correctly. I am a big deal. I think Taka is, like, well aware of his abilities. And although he's humble, he's not fake around being humble. You're big time. Big time, really, really. Because <laughs> I'm... Yeah, because there might have been a little bit of slight sarcasm there that sort of got lost in translation. I'm not sure. But either way, I'm glad that he owned it. Man, I got you. I told you, I believe in you 133 percent. So I'm going to do whatever it takes. But uh, <laughs> but what's going on with Mike? I know you're working on something with him. Uh, I'm still working on actually. Yeah. Um, on this album. And Taka giving this dude, Rob, I think his name is, props. Like, thank you. Appreciate you, like, shouting out 1OK Rock to Linkin Park. Thank you, by the way. Of course, man. I got you. So, again, like, a sign that, like, Taka doesn't put himself up on this level where he's higher than now. He doesn't think he's better than anyone. Maybe I think Taka kind of makes it a point to stay grounded. And he's sort of, like, putting himself in this position of just being another guy. Like, hey, treat me like a regular guy. That's how I want to be treated. Now that's sort of the impression I get from him. Yeah, you guys are best friends now. Yeah. From what I hear. Yeah. He's great. <laughs> He's very smart. Yeah, he is. He's all the time like thinking about like music yeah. and culture. I, I like how Taka has no problem expressing his appreciation for other people as well. He's great. He's very smart. Yeah. He's definitely 100% genius producer. I think that's a great quality in someone. It shows your confidence. It shows your comfort within yourself. When we see people who we admire speak highly about other people, it definitely makes us feel like that's really cool that they said that because there's like a humbleness to it. I'm going to tell you one more time, man. You got to do the orchestra concert in L.A. <laughs> Yes, I I can say right now, but um, I hopefully. All right. So he's thinking about it. That was interesting. That last little bit there. He's like, yes. Yes. <laughs> I. You could tell the wheels were spinning. Like, how much can I reveal right now? He just seems like an amazing guy. I want to know more. Like, I want to hear more. I want to know more. And guys, right now I'm going to react to Taka's Heartache Studio Jam Session. If you want to watch that along with my reaction to his Adele cover, you can go straight to my Patreon page. Other than that, my name is Max. I will catch you soon. Peace.